Also new tonight, Governor Hobbs has canceled more than $200 million worth of COVID relief grants that she and her team say were given out illegally by former Governor Doug Ducey. Thanks everyone for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Katiba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. Governor Ducey, former Governor Ducey, gave that money out in the final weekend of his administration. And tonight, Team 12's William Pitts explains where it all went. Basically, the governor's office says former Governor Doug Ducey kept extending a provision that let him award COVID relief money without any competitive bids. The Hobbs administration says that extension expired, but Ducey kept handing out the money for another three days until he left office to the tune of $210 million. Haven would be home. It's a former hotel near I-17 in Northern. Central Arizona Shelter Services says it would house 95 people. It just has to be finished. We're out to bid right now for that. So the summer is the goal. Cass is dealing with record numbers of people on the streets and has been since 2020. Clearly with the homeless crisis getting worse during the pandemic and clearly with us serving more people and opening more shelter beds, we've got a direct tie to the COVID crisis. Cass applied for $10 million from the American Rescue Plan Fund in Arizona, which was set up to help with COVID related issues. TGen applied for a million dollars to track COVID outbreaks and future pandemics. Valleywise Health, 10 million to help fill 440 vacant nurse positions. Governor Ducey's summer school program also applied $75 million. It was set up to supplement education back when schools were mostly remote. But then there are some applications that mention COVID and then seem to make requests out of left field. The Arizona Chamber Foundation cited COVID-19 and asked for $2 million for Arizona civics education. The Today Foundation wanted $7 million for an Arizona history education curriculum. The state would have to pay $7 million for this curriculum whether or not any school district ever actually used it. I will say the one pager does uh, reference uh, critical race theory and wanting to uh, push back against a critical race theory narrative. And that foundation isn't even in Arizona. It's in Texas. No one ever responded to our requests. Governor Katie Hobbs' office revoked 19 grants in all this week, saying they were given out illegally. The Ducey administration clearly didn't want us to, to have the freedom to, to exercise stewardship over these taxpayer funds. We reached out to a former Ducey spokesperson who said he would comment, but didn't. Hobbs now wants any group to submit applications again so her administration can decide who gets that money. Which means Cass still has a shot at funding Haven. You know, it's important to be by the book, and we're working diligently with her administration. William Pitts, 12 News.